Okay, hi everybody. So in this video, I wanna quickly review uh, using the cosine ratio. So remember, in a right angle triangle, uh, when you take pairs of sides and find the ratios of their, their lengths here, that's, those ratios are gonna be unique to the angles that we're, we're using in the triangle. And all of those ratios are programmed into your calculator. So the cosine ratio is the length of the side adjacent to that angle divided by the length of the hypotenuse. So in this case here, if we were taking a look at the cosine of A, okay, once we identify the angle, the adjacent side is B, and in this case, the hypotenuse is gonna be C, that's the opposite, the right angle. And if we're looking at angle B, the adjacent side here is A, and again, the hypotenuse is, is C. And so that's how I'm building that, that uh, ratio there. So now let's just take a look at some examples, and there are really only three different types of questions that you're gonna get here. So in this case here, my angle is 51 degrees. I am looking for the adjacent side and I've given the hypotenuse. So I can write that the cosine of 51 degrees is going to equal X over 12. So then I go to my calculator and I get that the cosine of 51 is 0 0.6293 approximately. And that's equal to my ratio X over 12. Now I'm going to put that number over 1 so that when I do the cross multiplication here, it's, it's fairly clear. This is going to be 12 multiplied by 0 0.6293. It's going to equal 1 times x, which is just x. And so then I'll get that x is going to be approximately equal to 7.6. Okay? And I'm rounding here. Even the, the, the trig ratio there, I'm, I'm rounding to the, the fourth decimal place. For this next one here, again, I've got my angle here, 28 degrees, and that's what identifies for me what the adjacent side is and the hypotenuse. So in this case, I'm looking for the hypotenuse, but I know the adjacent. So again, that's a cosine ratio. So the cosine of 28 degrees is going to equal 3 divided by x. I go to my calculator. And my calculator tells me that the cosine uh, of that angle should be 0.8829. So that's the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse when I'm using this angle. should be 0.8829. I'm going to put that over 1. I will cross multiply. So x times 0.8829 uh, is equal to 3 times 1. And then I'm going to divide. So I'm going to get the x is equal to 3 divided by 0 0.8829. And at the end here, that is going to be approximately 3.4. Now, in this case here, even though I'm, I'm rounding when I'm using the, the, the decimal there, um, I'm leaving it in my calculator as the entire decimal. Okay, so really the only rounding that I'm doing is in the very last step here. And in this last one here, I don't know what the angle is. It's theta. That's what I'm looking for. But I am given two sides here. The side that I'm given is adjacent to that angle, and the other side here is the hypotenuse. So I know that that is the cosine ratio for that angle, whatever it turns out to be. That's going to be 15 over 28. I cannot use the, the same cosine feature on the calculator that I have been using because that is what builds, it creates ratios for me. But I already have the ratio here. I know what it is. I want to go backwards to the angle. And so what I use is I use the second cosine or the inverse cosine on my calculator here and I enter that in and then the calculator tells me that that is going to be approximately 58 degrees. So I hope this quick little review here reminds you about how to use the, the cosine ratio and gives you a little bit of confidence moving forward.